If you think you're alone with the challenges of motherhood, you will find out that you're in good company. Fortunately, you're here in a community of mothers and parents with your leader here. And I'm going to talk not only about a lot of the challenges, but the ways to jump over the challenges and lead your best, strongest, most empowered life. So again, you are not alone with the challenges of motherhood and parenting. We're going to be talking a lot about them in detail today and what you can do. So I want to welcome people as they're coming in. I see a few people already in. I want to say hello to Eileen and to Neth and the other people I see joining us. And I congratulate you showing up for yourselves and your families and your strength and your empowerment and your success because that is what we build in our community here. As you know, if you've been in our community, this is a full scope community where I talk about all of the problems and issues and ways to become more empowered. And sometimes we talk about particular issues in detail. Sometimes we do more of an overview. And tonight I'm going to do more of an overview. I'm going to talk about the top 10 challenges and problems of motherhood and I'm going to talk about the solutions. And again, I'm talking about this topic for three reasons. One is so you know you're not alone. So often mothers are at home feeling these stressors and obstacles and feeling it's just them. And I want you to know it's not you. Second reason for doing all of these top 10 challenges tonight is I want to give you an opportunity to take an appraisal and assessment of what is your set of challenges and obstacles so that you can then build a plan to resolve them. And again, third, most importantly, we talk about the challenges and issues so we can build solutions to jump over the obstacles and build a pathway in your life that's smooth, that gets rid of the stress, that builds a pathway that makes it easy for you to build a life of success, of empowerment, and happiness. So again, I want to welcome all the women who are joining us. I see lots of women here. If you are here live, I welcome you. If you are here on replay, I welcome you. Uh, and I love to build community. So I would love to ask everybody who's here either live or on replay to write something in the comments so that your voice is heard. Uh, you can just say hello to everybody. I'm glad to be here tonight. Or I like this topic. It's an interesting topic. Or whatever. Happy Sunday to everybody. Whatever comes to your mind. Let's know that you're here. Let your voice be heard and so you'll be seen so that you can be part of our active community. Again, whether you're watching this live or on replay. And let us dive right into the top 10 challenges of motherhood and parenting. Again, one, so you know you're not alone. Two, so you can take appraisal. And three, so you can start building a plan to jump over those obstacles. So the first challenge that I want to mention is what people often tell me is work-life balance imbalance. People often feel unbalanced working, home, community, family. It's very confusing and life feels unbalanced. And I hear that from most all women when they first come to me, that they just feel a sense of disempowerment. And I love to help build that sense of empowerment so people feel that they're in charge of their lives again, that they're the captain an architect of their life and where they're going. Not that they just survive and live through their days, but that they're creating what they want in their lives and they're building their best lives. They're not feeling um, stit and stuck 
in a default mode, but they can create what they want, what they need for success and happiness. Again, number one, work-life balance. Two is, again, a feeling that I hear from a lot of people who first come to me is feeling spread thin or pulled in many directions in their lives. So again, as I describe in our group, we are the leaders of our household, leading our families. We take care of our home. We are leaders of our job in our workplace and leaders of our success at work. We often take active involvement in our greater families beyond our household, in our communities as well. We wanna make the world and community a better place as well. So with all of the responsibilities we take on, we often feel spread thin. Next, that I hear from just about every parent, every mother that I speak to, is that feeling of stress, that consistent feeling of always trying to keep up with the schedule, with many tasks to do, and staying on top of everything and taking care of everyone. That is such a common one. The next one is wanting that desire to help your children with milestones optimally. So for the younger kids, it's often developed milestones like getting them to sleep through nights well, or getting them to sleep in their bed, or toilet training, uh, or helping them deal with their emotions. With the older kids, it's often helping them to deal with their emotions as well or helping them to build a sense of independence and responsibility. Again, as parents, we want to help our kids grow effectively and feel confident in their lives. The next that I often hear from, from working women is that sense of mom guilt, feeling guilty to take time and effort and focus on your own needs, on your own self-care, and feeling guilty sometimes for the hours when you work, when you're not consistently home with kids. And I talk a lot about getting rid of mom guilt in our group and many steps that you can take um, because there are many, many advantages to our families of being working women, of taking our work seriously, and of that not meaning that we take our families less seriously in any way. So that's a big issue for many parents. The next issue is wanting to get more things done, just wishing you had more time in the day. Have you ever felt that if you had more time, you'd be able to get your things done? But honestly, if you had 30 hours in a day, you'd probably want more time as well. So it's not just time management, it's our way of handling our time. Again, a topic that I talk a lot with parents and with my clients. The next challenge that I often hear from parents is just feeling unfinished. When will I be happy? When will I feel successful? When will I feel like I've met my goals? And the important thing with that is to be on a pathway to know that you're building your goals, to know what you want in life, to know that you're in control of building that success plan to your plan for your best life. So you don't feel like you're just in default mode, just living randomly, getting through the days and surviving with whatever happens, but that you are an active participant in planning your life, in planning your future. If you want to imagine and picture that you will have a successful future and that you're building your best, strongest, most successful life, the best way to do that is to be in the driver's seat and create it and not feel that you're living in default life. Again, that's a challenge and many people feel they don't know how to do it, but I talk a lot about how to get over that obstacle and put yourself back in control of your days and your time and your responsibilities 
and your success. And the last challenge that I hear a lot is women who feel isolated. They feel nobody understands what it feels like, what I'm going through. Nobody knows how to help me. I feel stuck. And if you feel that way, again, no matter what you're going through, I've probably heard it from people who've come and spoken to me. We've been dealing with that for years. You are not alone. You are not without solutions. Fortunately, you are in this community. And as you know, if you've been here for a while, this is a full scope community where we handle all of these types of problems. And part of the solution part of this program, and I told you, I'm talking about the problems, not just for the sake of the problems, but I want to talk about how to get over the problems and build a smooth, easy, easy pathway to feel that you're in control of your life again and that you're on the path to your best life. And one of the strategies that you need to have in mind is getting all the gears to work together. So there are quite a number of issues that you may have on your plate. And we may all, all mothers may have a different complete set of challenges, but there are many similar ones as I've mentioned. And the important thing is for example, if you have work-life balance issues, it's not just a matter of time management alone. I know a lot of women who've signed up for time management courses, and then they tell me, courses outside, not my course, but they sign up for courses and they say, well, those courses would be great if I didn't have a family, if I didn't have my job. Those topics outside don't really, are not really relevant. I can't implement them in my life. So know that anything you learn here in our group, because we are a full scope community, the gears will all be working together so that all types of challenges will fall into place. Um, you're not going to learn one thing that will put something else out of kilter. Everything balances. And work-life balance is an important issue that we work with as well. So the first thing to keep in mind is that any type of help program has to have the gears working together for all your issues. Getting work-life balanced has to look at all, all of a full set of these issues that might be interfering so that we can learn to help you jump over that issue. Um, one of the important strategy is learning to be a leader and to, to make leadership decisions and to take leadership steps, both at home with your family and at work, in your work, with people who you work with, and even a leader when you're talking with your supervisors, you still can have leadership qualities. And it's really important to have leadership qualities so that you can advocate for yourself and your needs. And again, all of those are part of the ways that you need to think about handling your stressors. So I gave you a list of 10. And when you think about those 10, you might come and think about some solutions and some issues. I do talk about a lot of them in detail separately. Again, we want all of the gears to work together. But today I want to offer you, if you have your full set and you'd like some support, I am happy to have a free conversation with you. And we can talk about a number of possibilities. So I may give you some simple steps for free that will help you and resolve a lot of your issues. You may want some minimal support from me, or you may want some more involved support. I'm happy to talk about anything that might be of help to you. Uh, what I don't want you to do is sit in these challenges and feel that you're stuck. I want you to know that you can move over these obstacles. It really is my philosophy in life. As you know, 
is that obstacles are there so we can jump over them. Challenges are there so we can learn to be resilient. And the more resilient we are, the more we become. So I want you to think of different ways that you might handle these issues. You hear a lot of specific solutions and you've heard many of them if you've been in our group so far. Um, one of the programs that I'm working with in our group is the High Achievers Club. One of my clients calls this the Winners Club. And we talk about strategies of productivity, of personal productivity, of time management, of cutting stress, of work-life balance, of putting everything together, of putting multitasking aside and focusing really strictly on what you're doing. There are many things we talk about in that program. And again, I want you to be aware, most importantly tonight, that you are not alone. If you are experiencing any of these challenges, I encourage you to take steps to move beyond them, not feel stuck, come to our group, and there are a few things you can do, come to our group regularly, Mother's Ultimate Empowerment Support Network. I am always sharing strategies of support and empowerment. Uh, again, I invite you to make that appointment. You will find my schedule in our group. Uh, I will try to put it in the chat of the replay of this um, so we can have a conversation and we can decide anywhere from my giving you just some free suggestions to some minimal support to a discussion of whether the High Achievers Club is something that might be of interest to you and something that I might feel would help you. Um, not everybody gets into it. There is a discussion and we would see if it is something that would be applicable and relevant to you. But there are always suggestions and help points that uh, are possible that I can provide for you. Again, I talk a lot about handling the mental load of being a mother, um, the feeling of stress, of feeling pulled thin, being spread thin, and that work-life balance feeling out of balance. So the first few things you might wanna do, even on your own, is find some extra moments every day to release that stress whether it's taking some deep breaths, whether it's stretching a little, whether it's going for a walk in nature, which you might do with your family and your kids, a little de-stressing time is really very important and self-care is irreplaceable in handling these challenges and getting started. So that is the first suggestion that I'm going to give to you. If you feel overly stressed, the first step is taking some moments and it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to go to a gym to do this or even sit for 20 minutes to meditate. Obviously, if you can do those, those are great. But even if you can sit for a few moments, take some deep breaths, maybe close your eyes, feel relaxed, do a head to toe relaxation. You can do that within a few moments or take longer if you have the time. Again, that is a first step that I recommend for everybody of really, even if it's a minimal step of self-care. And then there are so many, so many things to add on after that. Um, there are time management hacks. There are goal setting and goal reaching hacks. There are personal productivity hacks. There are work-life balance recommendations. There are eliminating stress and building success recommendations. So I wanna add on to your armamentarian of what you can do to get out of that stress cycle, that roller coaster or that hamster wheel of feeling you're stuck and realizing that you're not stuck at all, that all you need to do is start that pathway and once you get started, 
it's much easier to jump over those obstacles. So let's talk about how you can get started, jump over those obstacles, and build your best, happiest, most empowered, most successful life for you, your family, and your work. And I remind people, it's not just for you, it's for your family as well. And most people, I do find most people who reach out for mentoring and assistance end up moving forward quickly. Um, I hear so often people get a promotion at work or they are able to have the confidence to change jobs to get a better job with increased income or a promotion with better income or that something in their family changes. They have a better relationship with the spouse or their kids or their kids are more cooperative in helping around the house. There are often changes. So again, I encourage you not to feel stuck where you are, but to start those steps so that you can jump over those obstacles, those challenges to build your best, happiest, most successful life. So I look forward to talking to you to see how I can help you. Remember to join our community every week so that you can hear our weekly topic. Make sure that you reach out if you're interested to make your appointment as soon as possible. I do have limited appointments each week. So if you're interested, get in as soon as you can to get an appointment. And I can't wait to hear your success stories. So again, let's get you through those obstacles and get you to success. Let's talk again soon.